brother and I decided to make multicolored taper candles this weekend. In order to do so, we needed tall metal containers to hold the different colors of wax. We found these tall Arizona cans and we removed the lid. If you could do it right, you could keep that nice little smooth edge on, which made it much safer. Next, we broke up a bunch of wax. My brother actually took care of that. And we added that with the color to our Arizona cans. We put the Arizona cans in a large stock pot, which we lined with tin foil. We lined it with tin foil only because it was a non-stick stock pot and we didn't want the metal cans to scratch it. Because we were going to be boiling these with the wax in them, that was why we needed the metal cans and couldn't just use, say, glass or plastic. Once we got the water boiling, we were able to get the wax melting and get some nice colors going. And you can see my brother is dipping his wick into the different colored waxes there. And what he's dipping it into in between is some cold water. That allows the wax to harden, which helps it form a layer better. The different colors that we used were yellow, red, green, and blue, mostly because those are the colors that they had available at Michael's. We didn't exactly follow the rules that they outline on the package for the amount of color to add. My brother wanted very vibrant colors, so we pretty much just stuck the entire chunk of color into the small little Arizona can. It didn't seem to affect the, affect the wax any, um, but it did make the colors brighter, such as especially the yellow and the green. We were having some issues getting a vibrant enough color. When you're done with the candle, you can either choose to smash the end, squish it on the countertop to flatten it, which is what my brother likes to do, or you can just slice it off since at that point the wax is pretty soft. So the three on the right are mine and the three on the left are my brother's. Thanks for taking a look.